Hey everybody, welcome back to Good Elf Farm. I'm Peter. And today, that's right, you guessed it, some chores. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it simple today. I'm just filling up the water to the, uh, uh, the trough. Maybe a little bit of shavings and whatnot. And maybe I'll just walk around. I'll go down the pond to see if I see any fish. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. All right, we're low on water here, so I want to fill this up. You know, this time of year, spring and summer, what I like to do before I fill it up is actually clean that out with a brush. Because the gnats and the mosquitoes, they like that still water and um, will lay their eggs. Plus a lot of just sediment and whatnot is settled in there. So once I brush it up, I'll empty it and then fill it. All right, that's uh, clean enough. Let me get the hose set up over here and uh, fill up the trough. Okay, while that's filling up, I always like to also, while the hose is out and running, clean out the, um, this is our food dish that we put grain into. It kind of gets nasty. It, as soon as she's done eating, she takes the dish and throws it on the ground and then she's stomping on it. Um, uh, who knows what's in there. And then the uh, water bucket. Uh, this gets fresh water every day, but it's still develops like a, a film or a residue on the inside which I like to scrub out with a brush so let me bring those over there All right, good to have a nice, clean, full bucket of water. It's less I have to do later. On the food dish here, I'll just leave it out in the sun for a little bit. It's a bit overcast today, calling for rain, but I'd like to at least leave this in the sun, let it dry out, and I'll bring it in later when she comes in. Okay, I'm going to call that full. Shut this off. 
Um, yeah, with a little bit of rain later, I mean, it'd probably fill up a little bit more. Plus also this time of year, she goes through it a lot and I replenish it a lot. So not a big deal. All right, the stall's not in that bad a shape, but because of the forthcoming rain, let me just clear out the real wet stuff, throw it outside and put some new shavings down. Okay, before I go down to the pond, I always like to bring along my loppers because I'm definitely gonna run across some more vines, prickers, and it's good to take care of them when I have the time. So here's a struggle. There's a couple Canadian geese down at the pond. I don't mind the geese, I actually enjoy them, but I got stuff to do. Even, you know, I like to enjoy the pond myself. So it's always uh, that balance around, do I disturb them? And I don't, I don't know if they're nesting or not, I doubt it. But what I'm trying to say is these Canadian geese right here, I don't know. I'm not gonna disturb them. The pond can wait another day. I'll let them do what they're gonna do. Day of rest. Plenty of stuff around here for me to do. Look at that. One day of sunshine. Daffodils are out. They don't know what to make of it. Okay, everybody. That's today's video. Short and sweet. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And again, offer comments, feedback on the videos. Always welcome. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.